Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers with me and you heard 37. So we're still in our Cessna down here in Wilmington, North Carolina. So let's go ahead and do another flight. Alright. Set our type. Normal flight. Uh, we'll set our destination. And we are going to Myrtle Beach. So it'll be a short flight, I think like 62 miles, something like that. Destination set. Alright, let's get our two passengers loaded. Let's go to our fuel. I'll put them back at 50%, just like last time, although we don't have near as far to go, so we shouldn't run out. Cut it kind of close last time. Alright, so I believe that's all we got to do. Let's go ahead and load it. Make sure we got our two passengers. Yep. Alright. Let's move this over to the side. Uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing started up. Parking brake is on. Turn our beacon on. Fuel pump. Battery. The fuel in. Let's see if we can turn, get this turn. All right, turn our nav on. We can turn our fuel pump off and our generator on. Avionics on. Let's uh, go ahead and holler ATC. Uh, we'll be going out to, the, I believe, the south. Bring up the GPS. No, more to the west, huh? All right. Get this out of the way. Get our GPS set up as well. A little bit smaller. Alright, knowledge that. Alright. Tell our passengers to get their seatbelts on. Leave. Yeah, everything's on. Turn that to GPS. Let's see where we gotta go here. Okay, we'll just go straight back. Shift P. Turn off the parking brake. Alright, so yeah, we're going to Myrtle Beach. It's really short, like 60 miles. Uh, after that, it's, we're going to have an even shorter one. We're going to go to Hilton Head Island, South Carolina. And then somebody had uh, requested to go to Tallahassee, Florida. So we'll either go straight from Hilton Head to Tallahassee, depending on how far it is, or there might be one in between that, and then we'll go to Tallahassee. And if anybody else has any requests near where we are, you know, go ahead and leave a comment and we'll see if I can't go there. Try and do some flights that you all want to see. See. Alright, stop right here. Oops, forgot you gotta hit shift P, can't hit the, just hit the brakes. And right there's good. Turn off this phone. Uh, let's go ahead and hit our taxi light. And let's taxi on over to the runway. Hopefully it's not too long a taxi. I don't know who's talking. Maybe them. Uh, I guess there's two, actually two planes over there. I, be, I hope this isn't the one where we go clear around to the right. Uh, the runway that we came in on. I really hope we don't get stuck behind anyone, although both of them got to push back, whoever it is. So we should be alright. Just get out before them. Go to Wilmington. 
Seems like it's been forever since we've been here, because we did have that base. We moved over to Charlotte. I remember, uh, uh, specifically, the one I remember most is the DC-9 trying to take off out of here. When I was actually originally practicing with the DC-9, because I, I had these huge problems with getting that thing up in the air, ended up finding it was out because of the trim. But uh, then we... It was, I remember there was some toggle switch up on top, and uh, I have no idea. We... If you remember, yeah, look out for me. Uh, if you remember, we had like the thing would just start moving on its own, you know. Like we, I remember we were backing up, couldn't get it to stop. Sometimes when we were going forward, we couldn't get it to stop. It was just like, what the heck is going on with this stupid thing? I still don't understand what the heck was going on with it. But the DC nine wasn't too bad a, too bad a plane. Uh, that was from, I can't remember who actually made that, but there's another one, Cool Sky, I think. I've got that one as well, but we weren't using that one. I, I've never actually flown that one much. I can't remember who was the maker of the one that we were trying. How could I, s there's no way that you people are around me anyway. No one can be close to me. All right, what runway? I thought he said 35. Looks like we taxi around to the left, because I was going to say, if this is the runway, maybe we could just take off here. But apparently not. All right, so I guess we're taking off on this runway, coming back here. It's the only thing I can figure. And it would be 35 at the compass. All right, we're clear across. Go ahead and get our autopilot set up as well. We'll go to 7,000. What's. Yeah, 7,000. Actually, let's just go to like 5,000. Because we have such a short flight. Actually, I guess it would. Yeah, it couldn't, couldn't be 7,000 because we got it heading west. So we've got to be on evens. So it can be 5,000. Let's just go to 6,000. Put these shakes off so I can do this. I go 6,000. Get back on the line now. As everyone keep, <laughs> keeps saying, watch out for me. There's no way that we're in the way. There's no way anyone can be that close to me. <laughs> Go to ATC. The tower up. Alright, request takeoff. Let's see how close they really are. Caution me? Like, isn't that the guy that's taken off? Or, okay, it's this one. Still, look how far we are. Alright, got our... Cleared, so we'll go ahead and turn our strobe on, landing lights, turn off the taxi, set the nacho flaps, trim this for takeoff. Not quite there. Oops, a little too far, too much. Alright, that looks pretty good. Get onto the runway. Get the GPS up. Alright, might as well just go ahead and take off. We're cleared. Let's go for it. Alright. Try and get her a little straighter. Sixty knots. She really jumps right off the runway. All right, fly out just a little bit, and we'll head south, southwest. All right, get rid of the flaps.
All right. Let's go ahead and out, head out this way. Kind of like to see that person take off. Is that the autopilot? Nav and altitude. So they haven't given that person permission yet. I'd like to kind of see it. I don't know if it would be kind of cool to see it from this direction. Guess that's them right there. Can't hardly see them. Seems like this would be a cool vantage, plate. vantage point. Oh, see, that guy is heading out too. Hurry up! Take off. Take off, you. We should be paying attention to our own aircraft, but, <laughs> you know, we do have autopilot set. I still don't see him taking off. Are they still sitting there? I haven't seen anything move. They've been given clearance. That's really odd. It's like they just disappeared. But that plane we can still see. I don't know why uh, we couldn't see. The oh, there they are. Hell. I never saw them. Alright. Well. I, I keep seeing those black lines. I don't know what that's up. What's up with that all of a sudden? What is this? I have no idea what that's all about either. Alright, but this is Wilmington. Out on the beach. Alright. Well, we're well on our way. Bring up the GPS. Uh, yes, yeah, 60 miles away. Alright, so we're well on our way. Everything looks good so far. Uh, we're, what, 2,200 feet? So I'm going to go ahead and speed this thing up, and I'll be back in just a bit.
Alright everybody, I'm back. A really short flight. Uh, let's see if we can hit him up. I believe we can actually, I believe that's it right there. It's only 28 miles away. Uh, let's see. There we go, Myrtle Beach International. The tower will stop landing. All right. Hello. Uh, fly right traffic, runway 36. So we will be coming in dead north. So let's fly out to the left. Set up our heading. Get this out of the way. A little too far. All right, go over to heading. We'll start our descent. Let's go down to 3,000. Well, I don't think we have to get down too quick. All right, we'll go at 700 feet a minute. Get these messages off. Yeah, I believe that's it. Let's go over to the map. We need our frequency. Okay, Myrtle Beach. Uh, 36, so it's 111.9. 111.9. Alright. Set this to 111.9. Oops, went past it. There you go. Switch that over. All right, let's slow down. We actually need to get down a lot quicker. Move that up to a thousand. Where? Also, another thing we could do. Are we? All right, so we're at normal speed. Did I move that to normal? I can't even remember if I did that. Uh, we can actually go a little out. Not too much. All right, we'll speed back up. We actually don't need to go that that quick. Uh, put it back at eight hundred. I was thinking we were going to get way too far out, but we're not, because we do have to go out past it, up around here. Uh, so let's go select our approach. LS thirty six. Just load it. Actually, you know, we can just go and activate it because we're not using GPS anymore. Let's actually switch that over. So, activate the approach. Why doesn't it want to move? There we go. I right, activate that approach. Doesn't look like it activated it. Maybe it's because it's vectors. I thought it would still uh, go red. Alright, watch our speed a little bit. Just getting into the yellow. And let's speed this up. We're going a little... Do it a little faster. We're still 21 miles away. This is 700 feet a minute. Get the range a little bit. Yeah, we're still on it. So I guess there's what, no uh, star for the airport? Yeah, 3,000 feet already. 
Let's move this back to full. And I guess we can go ahead and... See, we had a lot more room than I thought. Move that to 4x, and let's head back to the right. At about 240. See how that does. Yeah, that's pretty good. So it did turn red. You just can't hardly see it. I believe that's the airport right there. Alright, just 15 miles away. Pop the GPS back up. I don't know why it was covered. Move it to 2800. Don't really want to get any lower than that. It'll, of course, bring us in under the glide slope, probably. Could be over, but I don't know. Uh, screw it. We'll go to 2500. Cause we're, we're still pretty close to the shore, so we're not out too far. I guess you could probably turn it over to back to GPS, both of them, and it would probably do just as well. I believe it's actually showing our glide slope right there. Ah, oh, great. Somebody else is coming in. Well, that's not good. Because they're probably not all that close. Oh, man. He's already got... He's already been cleared. So he's got next anyway. Daggone it. Uh, geez, I'm looking for him. I don't see anybody. He can't already be down. That was a little quick. Let's go to 2x. We're still just above the glide slope. Ah, just lost our weather. Let me pause it real quick. And I'll bring the weather back. Be back in just a second. All right, we're back. I don't know why this thing keeps, uh, it starts itself back up. Oh, jeez. Let's slow this down back to normal speed. And then we'll start descending. Let's take it down to 2,000 feet. Watch our speed. We're right on the glide slope. Uh, let's go ahead and hit over the nav. Man, the weather changed real quick, didn't it? Alright, lining up. I believe we're right on the glide slope. Three miles away from the next waypoint. There we go. Now we can't see anything. The old sister. Bring that GPS back up just so I can see it for a minute. And that cut the visibility real big. I, I don't know if the weather was running. I mean, we saw it clouds and everything, so I thought it was until that clicked off. I don't know why that keeps doing that. Bring it in a little quicker. We're at 1,800 feet. One mile from the waypoint. All right, so the glide slope are just above it now. On it pretty good. I was going to wait until we got onto this before I hit the approach. 
And it took a lot longer for us to go over to your land. <laughs> that guy wasn't going to be anywhere close to us. Alright, four miles out. Let's see if we can go ahead and hit the approach. Was it 359 or 356? I can't remember which was the runway heading. I think it was 356, actually. Okay, we're off the top of my head. We're right on it. Actually, we're way above it. Should have taken that altitude hold off. Let's go ahead and set the altitude at 4,000 in case we got to go around, which we won't. I'm going to slow it down so we can uh, set our flaps. Whoa. What's... Alright. For a second there, I thought we were going to get off the thing, but no, we're back on the glide slope. Alright, there's the natural flaps. Increase the throttle. Alright, I'll go ahead and take over. We're actually below a thousand feet. Bring on the shakes. Always makes it more so much more difficult. Alright, second notch of flaps. That's gonna bring us up. Off to the left now. You see the glide slope and those the lights do not match up. So that's, are we too low? Yeah. All right. Second notch flaps. Not like it's anything dangerous. It's got so much runway before the landing area. It's one of those. Alright, just hit the record button. I almost forgot about it again. It's not going to be a look very pretty landing. Little short and to the left. Whoa, shooting squirrely. I was going to turn on that. I was going to turn there, but didn't make it. That is not a taxiway, apparently. At least I don't see the taxi here. Works for it. Alright, retract the flaps. I don't know where they're going to make us park. That kind of sucks. That was a taxiway, but we didn't have a line for it. I don't know, buddy. Where is the next taxiway? Here we go. Right over on our left. Hopefully this is the parking area. Looks like the gates are over to the right. Uh, we got. We can choose one. We'll go left. Hopefully, we're still right. Uh, come on. Got a little too slow. All right, we'll pull over. Or pull over. Set up ground. Takes it to parking. Beach, round, Mike, Foxtrot, seven, nine, zero. Request 
turn off our landing lights, our strobe, turn the taxi on. All right. Hopefully we're in the right area. I think we may have actually chosen correct for once. All right, we'll go over here and park. I can't remember. Is there only one runway at Myrtle Beach? It seems like we'd have another one, but I don't think they do. I think it is just one. It's kind of odd. Myrtle Beach, if you don't know, is a really big beach to, uh, destination for the people on the East Coast. Actually, I think in the summer have flights out of Huntington. Now, going straight down to Myrtle Beach. I, myself, I've been there many times, but quite honest, I didn't like it all that much because it's gotten so big. It's Nowadays, it's just like a big city on the beach, you know? It's like if you want to go to the beach to relax and stuff like that, and it's just like, it's like being in a city now with a beach. So I didn't really like it that much. I much prefer Hilton Head, but I grew up, man... We used to go to Hilton Head every year, and I just, I love it so much. It's such a nice area, and a lot smaller than Myrtle. It's still a big area. There's tons of traffic uh, trying to get over to the island and everything, but I, I just love Hilton Head. But we've actually, for a while now, we've actually been going down to, like, Oak Island, which is just south of Wilmington, where we took off. Uh, it's called Oak Island. We just got Long Beach. I think they changed the name of it, like I said, to Oak Island, and... There's also Curry Beach, which is just north. I think it's just in between Oak Island and Wilmington. And I actually hated that. I think we all hated it. One thing weird about that is the sand on the beach. It was like the worst sand I've ever seen. Like, it looks fine, but it is so painful to walk on. It's just really, really odd. I've never quite experienced anything like that. I don't think any of us had it. It was just really odd. So I think if we ever go down there again, it'll be Oak Island again. Hilton Head's just really expensive. It's just really, really nice. Alright, here's our parking space. By the way, yeah, this is a third-party airport. I uh, can't remember who the name is. It's a small, small group. I'll put a link in the description, of course. I want to say it's like the airport guys or something like that. I can't remember what exactly they call themselves. This isn't so much a parking, like, there's no, like, parking area, it's just, <laughs> it's just kind of random. Alright, I guess we can stop here. We turn on the parking brake. You guys can take your seatbelts off. Turn our taxi light off, Let's see if we can shut her down. we go it out nav beacon off turn our battery off generator off avionics off not in the right order of course <laughs> all right fs passengers we can end it congratulations oh sweet we are private pilots now that was quick that was what three flights something like that private pilot c1 You need 12 flying hours and 1,429 to get to C2. 12 hours. That's not that bad. All right. Two passengers, of course. 62 nautical miles. Time airborne. So 46 minutes, really? Uh, landing speed, 56. Landing touchdown, 191. That seems actually kind of fast for a Cessna, even though it says nice. I didn't really like the landing that much. Myself, we're a little short and to the right, I thought. Ticket income, only 80. Oh, we forgot the freaking cargo again. Deck on it. We're losing money because of that. We only got 1,500 points, or 1,500 bucks. That was times the 50. Total, total real, like 30 bucks. Oh my goodness. What is the fuel, 45? Oh my goodness, we would have actually lost money. 
Yeah, we gotta gotta remember that cargo deck on it. So only 230 points doesn't seem like very many. Very nice landing, 50. I forgot that you get points for that, so I want to make sure I really kind of nail that. Uh, perfect flight, no problems, and very satisfied passengers. Because, yeah, they think I should be 100%, which I agree. We landed at the scheduled airport, which is stupid. Of course you're going to land at the right airport. All right. Well, everybody, that's it for this one. We're in Myrtle Beach. Uh... Like I say, next we'll go to Hilton Head, which is pretty close. It'll be a really short flight. Got to really remember the cargo for that one because we're not going to make much for the tickets. And so tune in for that next time, everybody. I will see you on the next flight.